Did you know that you can easily move to Spain by teaching English and you don't need to be a teacher to qualify? Teaching English in Spain is a great way to get your foot in the door into the country. And there are quite a few programs that will give you that wonderful work-life balance and continue to give you a paycheck while you're at it. Today, I'm gonna to talk about eight of these programs that you should consider if you want to live and work in Spain. So each program is slightly different, but in general, what you can expect through these programs is to, number one, get a visa, work part-time hours, get a monthly paycheck, and health insurance throughout your stay. You can't really beat that. And now for a quick fun fact. I actually participated in one of these teaching programs back in 2006 when I was 26 years old, and again in 2015 at the age of 35. I had an incredible time, and these programs actually led to long-term living in Spain. Not by teaching English, but they got me here and I figured out what was next after that. So before we dive into these eight programs, I just wanna make sure we're on the same page here and answer your question if you're thinking, what are these teaching programs in Spain? So typically these programs are referred to as a language assistant program or the auxiliar program in Spain. So these are government and non-government run programs that allow you to work in a primary or secondary school as a language assistant. So you're not the main teacher, you are assisting the English teacher or another teacher in the classroom. Auxiliar de conversación is your official job title as a language assistant in Spain. That's quite a mouthful, auxiliar de conversación, but you'll actually hear the term aux thrown around by seasoned language assistants here in Spain. So you do not need to be a teacher to participate in this program. So if you have little to no ESL experience or any classroom experience, do not worry. All you need to have is an associate's degree or bachelor's degree. And that's because these programs aren't looking for professors or professional teachers. They're looking for native English speakers. By participating in these programs, you effectively act as an ambassador of US language and culture. If you're interested to know what exactly you'll be doing in the classroom, well, your responsibilities as a language assistant can include preparing activities and games, leading class discussions, creating PowerPoints to teach topics, go around the classroom and offer assistance, and occasionally helping out with extracurricular activities such as debate or maybe model UN. So where are my over 30s at? Well, initially when these programs were created, they were filled by recent college graduates. So the main age of participants was somewhere in their early to mid 20s. But these programs have been going on for a very long time now, and now there are people of all ages who participate in these programs in their 30s, 40s, and above. All right, so let's dive into these eight programs. Number one is the North American Language and Culture Assistant Program, also known as NALCAP. This is the most popular program of all of the language assistant programs, and they place thousands of language assistants all throughout Spain every year. Spain's Ministry of Education runs this program, but if you're applying through this program, don't expect much support from the ministry. You're still going to have to navigate things such as your visa application and also finding housing, among other things. Don't worry though, they offer some information and there's a lot of supportive Facebook groups where you can find information on how to navigate this with all of the other offices out there. So depending on where in the country you're placed, the amount of hours you work per week and how much you make per month are going to vary. Payment can be anywhere from 700 to 1,000 euros per month. And while that may not sound like a lot of money, your work hours will only be anywhere from 12 to 16 hours a week. Usually that work week is only four days. So you're either working Monday through Thursday or Tuesday through Friday. So three day weekends every weekend. And I actually got really lucky when I was in this program in 2006 in Cordoba, Spain. I actually had a three day work week. So I just worked Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It was living the dream. 
This program generally runs for most of the school year from October through May. So eligibility requirements. If you are from the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, Ireland, Philippines, or India, you are eligible to apply. Other requirements include being a native or native-like speaker, that you're in good physical and mental health, that you can provide a clean background check, that you're between the ages of 18 and 60, and that you have a bachelor's or associate's degree, or be enrolled as a sophomore, junior, or senior getting a bachelor's degree. Applications for this program open around January or February every year and close in April. So the earlier you get your application in, the better chances you have of getting placed in the program. If you'd like more information, I have a full blog post on all of these programs down below. The next program is CIEE. So CIEE is an intercultural exchange program that offers teaching placement in Madrid. So through this program, you're gonna work alongside people who applied to the NALCAP program, and you're gonna get the same pay and work the same amount of hours. The big difference though, is that CIEE has a program fee. That means you have to pay to participate in this program, and that fee is $2,000. The NALCAP program that I mentioned has zero fee. So why would anyone pay $2,000 when you can apply to the same program for free? Well, with CIEE, you get a guaranteed placement in Madrid. In other programs, you may not be able to get placed in the region or city that you want to, and actually it's very likely that you won't. Other perks to paying the $2,000 fee for CIEE are an airport pickup, a four-day orientation, and four nights of hotel accommodation. They also include cultural activities, networking events, and emergency assistance. Another big perk that I should mention is that they do offer support in obtaining your student visa that you're gonna need, and also obtaining your identification card once you get to Spain. Both of these can be headache-inducing and difficult to manage on your own if you've never done it before. To recap, this is a great option for those who know they wanna be in Madrid and want that extra support. Apply by March 31st, and again, you can find the link below with more info. Program number three is the Bilingual English Development and Assessment Program, also known as BETA. So in this program, you will be placed in a semi-private Catholic school known as in Spain as a concertado. Most of these placements are gonna be in Madrid, but they will sprinkle a few placements throughout Spain. A perk to going through BETA is that they do offer support for your visa application and also any immigration appointments that you're gonna need in Spain, as well as setting up a bank account, which can also be a headache. With beta, you'll have a longer work week, so it's gonna be anywhere from 18 to 24 hours a week. Depending on your hours, you'll make anywhere from 900 to 1200 euros a month. If you're actually looking to go down the teaching route, then maybe this is a good choice for you because included in the program is the requirement to attend a formal teaching course at the University of Comilla. Okay, so what are the requirements? Well, number one, you have to have a high level of English. You don't have to be a native speaker. You have to attend a Skype interview and pay an enrollment fee of around 175 euros. Now, you only have to pay that enrollment fee if you are accepted. Some things that may help your application is to have some level of speaking Spanish, experience living abroad, having a TEFL certification, and having a teaching degree or teaching experience, although it's not necessary. Applications for this program open in November and run through January. Next up is Conversa Spain. So this program offers placements in Madrid and Murcia, and it's another program that comes with fees. In Madrid, the work hours are 16 hours a week and you'll be paid 1,000 euros a month. In Murcia, you're gonna be looking at 15 hours a week and you'll be paid 875 euros a month. So what's the benefit of going with Conversa Spain when they only place in two regions in Spain and have a pretty hefty fee? Well, they do offer some extras like TEFL certificates and Spanish classes, which can really round out your experience in Spain. But then again, if you sign up with one of the free programs, you can just sign up for your own Spanish classes and TEFL class on your own. Program number five is USATAM. So teaching with USATAM, you actually get a little salary boost. So you'll be making anywhere from 1,000 to 1,400 euros a month. And that's gonna be 18 to 26 hours of work a week and only in Madrid. This program is actually a little bit longer than the others. It starts in September and ends in June. So this program doesn't have a fee per se, but they do have a deposit of 150 euros. There is an interview for the application process and their window to apply is much shorter. It just runs from January to February. 
Next, we have the Medias program. So this program allows you to work in private schools in Spain, and there is no application fee for this one. Now there is one catch. To qualify for this program, you have to have graduated from a university within the last four years. Working hours range from 20 to 24 hours a week, and pay also ranges from 400 euros to 1,140 euros. Did you catch that pay cut there? Your salary is determined by whether or not you take them up on their host family program. So Medeus's host family program is really what sets them apart from all of the other programs. And living with a Spanish family is a great way to get involved with the culture, to escape that expat bubble, to save money, and also avoid the apartment hunt, which can be really difficult in Spain. Another thing to note with this program is that you are required to complete a teaching course at a Spanish university. We're getting close to the end of the list here. So number seven is the Franklin Institute. With the Franklin Institute, not only will you be teaching in schools, but you will also be earning your master's. And that will be at the University of Alcala in Madrid in their teach and learn hybrid program. The Franklin Institute is a great choice if you're looking to earn a master's degree in any of the following areas. And that is international education, bilingual and multicultural education, learning and teaching Spanish as a second language, teaching higher global education, and school management. So with this program, you have three work-study options. The first option is working in a language school while you study your master's. You'll earn anywhere from 600 to 900 euros a month, and you won't have to pay any tuition. The second option is to work as a language assistant in a public school while you study your master's. You'll earn 1,000 euros a month, and your tuition you will have to pay, but that will just be 3,800 euros total. The third option is where you actually won't be working at all as a language assistant. You'll just be studying for your master's and you're required to pay the full tuition, which is 4,200 euros. If you're interested in the Franklin Institute, their application period runs from January to March. Last, we have UP International. UP International is a great option if you're looking for a deposit-free, fee-free teaching assistant opportunity in a private school and also looking to have that additional support to help you with your documentation and accommodation. So this program isn't for everyone because their ideal candidate is someone who is under 35 and with a teaching vocation. Part of the interview process with UP International is that you'll have to interview not only with them, but later down the line, you'll have to have two interviews with the school. So this is kind of cool because this is one of the few programs where you'll get to meet the faculty that you'll be working with via Zoom or video call before you arrive to the school on day one. So this program does have a more rigorous interview process, but that's just because this program is geared towards individuals with a career or interest in teaching. And they also wanna ensure that you have some level of Spanish. They really just wanna make the best match possible. It's also important to note that to further prepare you, you will be required to complete an online course before you start working. Your work hours will be 20 hours a week, and that may be four days a week or five. You'll earn either 745 euros or 845 euros a month. You'll also get health coverage uh, that's typical with all of these programs, and you do have the option to stay with a host family. Positions start on October 1st. There's a few that start September 1st, and this program runs to the end of May and sometimes June. If you're interested in UP International, you can start applying in February. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. And if you're new here, just wanna introduce myself. My name is Seppi, rhymes with Peppy from SheHitRefresh.com. And I teach women aged 30 and over how to move abroad sooner rather than never. I myself made the move from Texas to Spain in 2015 when I was 35 years old. It's been about eight years now and I am still living in Spain, living my best life. If you're looking for more resources to help you with your move abroad, be sure to check out my digital book, I'm Out of Here, An American's Ultimate Visa Guide to Living in Europe. I break down the 18 easiest countries to move to in Europe for U.S. citizens and cover over 50 viable visa options. If you're a woman aged 30 and over, please join my next Move Abroad After 30 Masterclass 
And also be sure to join my free Facebook community. You can find the links below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, turn on notifications, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any future Move Abroad content. Thank you.